if somebody has pleaded not guilty and went through a trial, and I know that it's a very small percentage in your courtroom, can that person still do something to make amends and to reconcile and say, I was wrong, I wish I got this message sooner, I didn't, or does that come across to you less plausible? Yeah, and I think we've got a whole variety of folks that kind of fit into that equation, right? And I've had a trial where the guy said, I'm guilty for selling drugs, but that gun ain't mine. And so going into trial on that case by saying, I'm guilty of the drugs, I'm not guilty of the gun, then he's lost nothing in, in the credibility standpoint. There's other folks that maybe truly are innocent and th then they will have not lost anything in that situation. And I, you know, I pray to God that we don't convict innocent people, but I know that that does, if it happens once, it happens too much. And then there's other folks that are not at that point, and maybe you were at, the, at that stage or not, where you can't own up to it. Um, I think at any point when somebody owns up to a problem, that's, that's better than none. If, if the person's truly guilty, and if that's what we're talking about, then owning up at any time, usually it's 90 days or more between a conviction or a change of plea and sentencing. Um, that's not that long of time, but then in other situations, it's long enough to figure out, I screwed up, I made a mistake, I've done something wrong here and I'm committed to improving it. And I think most judges are really good about judging if that's a genuine apology and a genuine attempt to fix it versus I'm trying to shave a few years off my sentence.